Use PAP. National Update Course 2022 through 2023. Chapter 2, Fair Housing Update. Critical new information for appraisers. Page 31, Public Trust. USPAP has many different requirements in place to ensure that an appraiser who follows USPAP can continually produce non-discriminatory appraisals worthy of the public's trust. It is important for the appraiser to recognize how many different requirements must be followed to produce appraisals that are not unlawfully discriminatory. For example, a lender client has a different than has a different need than a client such as the US Department of Interior which can require the appraiser to follow the uniform appraisal standards for federal land acquisitions also known as the yellow book USPAP can only provide broad principle-based requirements for appraisers. Clients themselves can then provide detailed guidance related to solving their appraisal problems or the appraiser will have the knowledge of the appropriate appraisal methods and techniques and know how to complete the necessary research and analysis that will produce credible assignment results in situations where the client does not provide detailed guidance for the appraiser. End of page. Page 32, Illustrations. As noted in the prior section, USPAP provides many requirements that, if not followed, could result in discriminatory appraisals. The table below includes examples. On the top row, it says steps related to performing an appraisal. The next section is called USPAP reference. The next section is called example of possible discriminatory action. Um, steps related to performing an appraisal. Actions taken prior to the appraiser agreeing to perform the assignment. The USPAP reference is competency rule lines 309 through 310. An example of possible discriminatory action can be an appraiser refuses to accept any appraisal assignments in majority black neighborhoods. The next steps related to performing an appraisal can be approaching the assignment with the right mindset. USPAP reference preamble line 40. An example of possible discriminatory action can be an appraiser is valuing a property in a predominantly major minority neighborhood and because of this fact decides that they will value the property below the pending sale price even before performing any research or analysis. The next thing is uh, having the competency to complete the assignment. The competency rule lines 309 through 310. And an example can be 
not knowing which laws apply to the appraiser or to the assignment, and thus following them regardless of intent. The next steps related, performing the assignment with impartiality, objectivity, and independence. The use pap reference is the ethics rule. Lines 185 to 186, and an example can be, the appraiser concludes an opinion of value below the property's market value because of the property owner's religious beliefs. The next steps related can be application of the approaches to value. The USPAP references is ethics rule lines 198 to 200. An example can be the appraiser after discovering the subject property is occupied by a member of a minority group intentionally selects comparable sales based on the perceived race of that occupant. The next steps thing is data collection and analysis. The USPAP reference is the competency rule, lines 306 to 310. An example can be, the appraiser checks census data regarding racial composition of the subject's subdivision and several competing subdivisions, then uses the data to restrict the use of comparable sales from subdivisions with similar racial compositions. The next steps can be reporting assignment results. The USPAP reference is the competency rule. Lines 299 to 300. An example can be, the appraisal report contains the following sentence. According to census data, this neighborhood is comprised of 30% white occupants, 60% black occupants, and 10% are of mixed race. The next steps can be market analysis. Use PAP reference, standards rule 1 through 3, A, lines 505 to 511. An example can be, the appraiser misleads the intended user by not researching the market to understand the characteristics relevant to the property's value, but instead bases conclusions on racist or stereotypical assumptions. These examples are provided for illustrative purposes only. They should not be construed as legal advice, nor as accurate for all given scenarios. Only those charged with enforcing anti-discrimination laws and regulations can conclude if something was or was not an illegally discriminatory action based on the specifics of that case. End of page.